Hey guys, I'm Alan and I'm here today in the wonderful Cormax warehouse and we're going to be testing a range of their plastics. Easy to see, first test is going to be the fire test. Now we've got five uh, plastics to test, they're going to go on this flame for 60 seconds. See how they're going for their retardant and if they are flame extinguishing as they say they are. So, so we're going to start with the Cormax nylon and it's going to go on for 60 seconds. Here we go. Timer on. Now after 20 seconds that's already up to 200 degrees Celsius at this end. And it's going to come out in 10 seconds and we'll see if it is self-extinguishing. 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to take it out. As you can see, no flames. It's already self-extinguished. Is a little bit of distortion. Now we do have 200 degrees this end, but if you check the other end, we're still down under 30 degrees. So that's pretty impressive. Right, now next up is the acetyl. It's got the same rating as the nylon. So we'll pop it in, 60 seconds. All right, about 20 seconds, we're up to our 200 degrees. 30 seconds, hardly any distortion, we're up to 220. Alright, that's our 60 seconds up. Let's take it out. A little flame here at the top. We'll check that temp there at the end. Now it is only 128 degrees. And now the other end, you're well done under 30. Now what was really interesting there is that the acetol that's supposed to have that UL94 rating of HB and is supposed to be self-extinguishing actually retained that flame for a good 30 to 40 seconds. So that was actually quite an interesting discovery to make. Next we're going to be doing the UHM WPE. Now that's got the same rating as the nylon and the acetol. But after what happened with the acetol, I'm really interested to see what happens. So we'll start the timer. And in we go. Oh, 20 seconds, we're up to 180 degrees. 20 seconds ago, we're at 230, but it seems to be holding its shape pretty well. Right, almost there. Capping it at about 240. Right, that's 60 seconds. We'll take it out. Flames have extinguished almost straight away, and there's much less distortion. And it's only at 110 degrees, it's actually a lot cooler than the others and well under 30 at the bottom. Right, now we've got PVC which is actually our surprise guest and we're not sure what the rating is so it's going to be interesting to see what the results are. So into the fire we go for 60 seconds. After 20 seconds we're already up at about 230. A little bit more smoke from the PVC than the other ones. 60 seconds up. And let's have a look at this. Well, I've definitely got no flames. A little bit of smoke. A little bit more distortion than the others. Now the peak. Now that's got that rating of VO. So highly retardant. But there's only one way to find out. We'll pop it into the fire test. Timer is on. In we go. The heat's already up to 200 after 20 seconds. Right, 20 seconds to go. We're up to 240. Holding steady. Right, capping at 260, we're coming to the end of our 60 seconds. Well, let's take it out and see what we've got. Now you can see there, it's actually held itself really well. We've got some charring on the tip, but definitely no flames and hardly any smoking or melting. Now it's time to rank the results, and I like to start with the winners first. Now easily, the peak is your fire retardant plastic of choice. There's zero, almost zero surface penetration. We would uh, wipe off most of the surface charring. You can see it's held its shape incredibly well. Next, the UHM WPE. Uh, there is some surface penetration, but as you can see, the shape is held really well. Nylon's going to be next. There is surface penetration, but again, the shape is held really, really well. Our acetal, which held its shape well, but was worrying that it wasn't self-extinguishing because it retained that flame on the top for a good 30 to 40 seconds. And at the end, with a lot of um, surface uh, burning, was the PVC and there was a worrying amount of smoke. So, peak, definitely your fire retardant plastic of choice. Remember, be firewise, be safe.